How everybody doing? It's Mike Slicks, Millionaire Maker. Hang with me, I'll make you a millionaire. All right, so this is day 65 of my 365-day YouTube content creation challenge, where I challenge myself for the next 365 days to create valuable and useful ch content that I can post on my channel. Okay, I was. I'm going to hold Okay, and like I say, for the next 365 days, well, guess what? Now for the next 300 days, because like I said, this is day 65. All right, so that means for the last 64 days, I've been sitting up here every night making a video, posting it to my YouTube channel. A lot of it's been about nothing, you know, a few facts and things in there along the way. But like I say, right now I'm just getting used to making videos and posting them on YouTube and getting used to making them, okay? So, I know the other day I made one that gave you a little information. Um, I was going to talk about, be honest with you, I don't even remember. Like I say, I just be making these videos off the fly, Okay. Whatever at the time when I decide to make the video and usually right now the only reason I'm making the re reason that I'm making the videos at this point is so that I can go to bed Okay, but I do want to make it used to making the videos All right, so today I Didn't do a lot. Okay, I'm starting to Take time just doing nothing really because it comes a time when there's not really a lot that you can do. It's like uh, you plant, you plant, you wait, you reap. Okay? After the planting is the waiting. And the waiting is when the seed is being fertilized and nurtured and about to break forth. Okay, so, and in that process, you know, it's not really a lot. You don't see a lot of growth, okay? But you just know that things are moving in your favor, so you just keep on going. Now, like I say, today I spent time, I got about 20, 25 of these, okay? Today I spent time going through these, seeing which ones worked, which ones didn't. I got about... Four that didn't work. Mm, maybe about four the radio worked, but the CD player didn't work. And I got about, like I said, about 20 of them that did work. So I went on here, put them on Marketplace. Uh, I sold a 16 inch sound bar off of Marketplace. The lady came, picked it up. You know, $20. Okay. Like I said, I'm looking at. I can't find nothing right now because for some reason the internet's down. <laughs> okay. But uh, I'll be looking at Marketplace to be uh, advertising pallets. I need to go and start looking at those, you know, for resale uh, purposes. Uh, my mama let me know that uh, the cards did come in, so I'm going to go pick them up tomorrow. I think that's partially what I've been waiting on is to be able to go into the car lot with my own card and not my mother's card and whatever reason have to have her with me because the name on the card don't match. So, you know, I'm waiting on that. So sometime soon, within like about the next week, like I told you, I talked to um, uh, Liberty Mutual. <laughs> Not quite sure if I'm going to be able to get it, but I'm going to give it a try because like my grandmother used to say, nothing beats a failure but a try. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. And the reason why I say I might not be able to get it is because I did have Liberty Mutual. And I think I left Liberty Mutual for the people I'm with right now, La Jolla. And I think the reason that I left them is because they came in cheaper than Liberty Mutual. And I think I left them without saying anything to Liberty Mutual. And Liberty Mutual got mad and was like, hey, well, you still owe us some money. So we want our money. And I believe they sent uh, some shit over to the collections. You know, so they might hold that against me. But I'm going, like I said, I'm going to find out. I'll get up early Monday morning and hit the car lot. 
Hit the car like that. We have to spend some time out there. Get to talk to him. Hey. Ugh. Excuse me for that. But if I leave that with a car, all the more good. Okay. Uh, I tried to get in touch. My v, um, VA, she sent me a prospect. I told, I think I sent her an email. I'm told her for a property, 175K would be like, I think, no, 150 something K would be like the most we would pay. I think she come back with, that's a good one. So I was writing, I was sending them an email. Now for some reason, all my internet's out. So I'm doing this, like I always do it on my phone, but I'm gonna post it. I usually try and connect to the internet when I come in the house. Comcast be tripping. You know, cause I'm watching TV, I'm watching Prime, or rather it's on, but they say the internet's not working. I guess TV's working, the internet's not working. So, um, I got a letter today from Equifax. It's a star tactic, okay? They kill me with these star tactics. But this letter says, Dear Mr. Sykes, we received your request concerning blocking of certain information on your Equifax credit file. Please be advised that Equifax at this time and pursuant to Section 605 BC of the Fair Credit Reporting Act is not blocking the information subject to the submitted identity theft and or policy report you provided as part of your dispute. We are contacting each sort directly to verify the information on your behalf. We will also forward a copy of this document you provided to each creditor on the review. You should receive the results of the investigation, which may include blocking of the disputed information within 30 days. If you disagree with the investigation results you receive, you still have several options, including contacting the source, such as bank directly or follow their fraud procedures. Filing a complaint with the CFPB, your state attorney general, or the BBB. Provide, providing Equifax with an additional relevant information to support your claim, especially documentation from creditors showing an account does not belong to you. As a reminder, it may take up to 30 days to complete your dispute. Okay, that's a stall tactic from Equifax, you know, because like I said, I did what they said, I filed it with the Federal Trade Commission, and they're still saying, hey, we're not gonna honor that. I think Experian sent me the same kind of email, saying the same thing, you know, so, I don't know. I might, I sent her the information, the person, who was supposed to be helping me with this credit repair. I sent her the information. She said she was looking over it today, like I said. I also sent her a copy of my credit report. Uh, I sent her a copy of this letter today. Uh, I haven't had no response from her today. <laughs> okay, I have, so I haven't had no response from my the person doing my taxes. I'm trying to see um, how soon can I get this, this uh, whatever it is, this tax form, so that I can fill out this paperwork, okay? Uh, as far as I believe, it's probably just a matter of, hey, pay me and I'll do it. <laughs> and that's no problem right now. I just need this done. Like I said, one of my credit cards got a, well, they say it's a $500 credit boost, but hey, I'm happy for all of them. All right, I'm at 10 minutes tonight. I mean, now, uh, I can't finish my email over here. I don't want to do it on my phone. I can't even get to my email. I should have a draft. But I should be have a draft probably, but I'm going to check that one out and see if maybe so. Because I might want to try and say what I want to say. Uh, okay, RPM, yeah, okay. Do we have a draft? Do we have drafts? No. Uh, ooh, uh, uh. All right, so I'll tell you what. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna let y'all go. 
Because, like I said, I don't know, wait, wait drafts. <laughs> 247. Okay, it's Mr. B. I found the draft. I can go ahead and finish it. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go finish this uh, email to him so I can get it out tonight and I can go ahead, go ahead, get to bed. I said I was going to call the credit company today. Really, I didn't do nothing today. I'm going to be honest with you. I just didn't do nothing today. Some days I get like that and I have to snap out of it, okay? I'm not going to claim what I believe it be, but I'm not claiming that. And so I'll work through it right quick because I don't have time to play around. Like I say, I'm going to let y'all go for right now because I done made it past, past 10. My name is Michael Seitz. I'm the Millionaire Maker. If you hang with me, I'll make you a millionaire. Like I say, this is day 65 of my 365-day YouTube content creation challenge. Where I challenge myself for the next 365 days to create valuable and useful content that I can post on YouTube to try and help somebody. So here it is, day 65. I'm thankful for everybody that hey, watch this video. If you can, I appreciate it if you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Go ahead, if you know anybody that this video, know anybody that I, my channel might possibly help, I'd appreciate it if you go ahead and hey, share my video with them. Just tell them about my channel. Help me boost my channel up and stuff. All right, my name is Michael Sykes. I'm the Millionaire Maker. You hang with me, I'll make you a millionaire. You'll see. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.